everybody, how's it going? Trim here, hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm just gonna go and make a little trip to my general electrical store, and that's because I have a little harebrained scheme that I want to try out. So guys, you're joining me on a sunny night in York and tonight I have a really, hopefully clever idea. I hope it doesn't burn and turn into shit. But my idea is basically, the problem that I've got for my trip, which is now coming ever closer, is my tank bag. Haven't found one that was able to fit the round circle thing for the... Uh, the round cap for my fuel mount, you know, for the, I talked in my last video about a Jivy tank bag. That's not gonna happen, doesn't work on this particular bike. So my other idea was, what if I bought a magnet and put a GoPro mount on the bottom of that magnet and then stuck it to my tank. So when I use my tank bag, it has a magnet to adhere to. And I instantly thought, whoa, that's a really good idea. So hence, I'm going to Maplins now to buy a magnet Hopefully I can stick that with the GoPro mount to the tank and in the, my backpack I have, um, I have my tank bag and I'm going to check that the magnet adheres to the tank bag alright and if it works, it might be a really good solution for anybody who is having this problem with plastic tanks. So it's, it's a big problem with plastic tanks and especially on this bike because it is like all fed all up the sides there's nowhere to even put straps or anything like that so it really is an issue um do you i don't actually know how you would get a tank bag on this bike currently because since this has the abs model fairings because it's a 2010 model there are no holes in the fairing it's all fairing apart from the radiator bit so there's literally nowhere for the straps to go on a tank bag even if you were to strap it you can get the leather tank covers but I mean they are 90 quid on their own and then you've got a tank bag on top of that so it gets quite pricey so hopefully this will be an under 10 pound fix for plastic tanks with magnetic tank bags I had an absolutely magnificent ride at the weekend one of the best rides I've ever had on Sunday one of the best rides just so much fun Proper street Rossi in it all day long with my two buddies, Rob and Alex. And it was just such good fun. Um, obviously, for reasons, <laughs> I couldn't record it. But um, I had a magnificent time. It was superb. Um, and now I've got all that, you know, racing out of my system. I'm looking forward to a chilled couple of days away on the bike exploring some fantastic roads and lovely scenery. Uh, am I going the right way here? Yeah, I am. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. We're actually, I don't think I've really talked about the trip much in detail. Um, we're actually going um, through the Lake District up to Dumfries in southern Scotland. And then I believe we're just going to take it as it comes. But, I mean, we've got a good four days. Um, first decent mileage I will have done on the CBR. Um, I'm really glad I am taking this bike in a way because, well, it's very smooth. I'm not going to say it's the most comfortable bike in the world, I'm not going to lie, it isn't, but it's very smooth, which when I went on my last trip, my RVF was very abrupt and everything, and, you know, that wasn't the best. Right, hello everybody. So... These are what I've got, super strong magnets, so hopefully they'll do the trick. So I'm going to go home now, put some adhesive on them, and um, we'll see if it works. I'm going to use super on Laddie because that's what my baby deserves. Now comes the tricky part of trying to pay while sat on the bike. Fun times, eh? Also, the quality might be a bit different today. I decided to try something. Um, decided to try using Protune, which is a GoPro feature 
where it basically lets you add your own color correction in editing. But anyway, guys, I will keep you updated uh, with the status of this magnet, um, and I'll obviously keep vlogging once I've got it all together and stuff. So stay tuned for that, um, and I'll see you in the magnet fitting part of this video. Uh, even if it doesn't succeed, I'll still show you what the crack is, because then, you know, you know it doesn't work. <laughs> and I get to laugh at myself for being an idiot. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So, I'll see you in a bit. Hello there, everybody. How's it going? Trem here. So, this is my Oxford tank bag. And, like I said in uh, the other, other part of this video, we're going to see if the experiment has worked. As you can see, I'm all ready for my trip. Um, this is what I've done with the magnets. I've put them on a GoPro mount and they are super solid and the magnets are super solid. I've actually super glued these on to this adhesive as well just to give them more grip. So you wouldn't really know per se until, until you actually do a ride but I mean that's on there now. That is solid. I'm like wiggling that and pulling that now a little bit. That's that's pretty solid. And look, I'm lifting it and it won't even. There you go. Boom. Really, really strong. So this is a great option if you've got a plastic tank like me. Try doing that. And uh, yeah, should work a treat. Um. So yeah, hope that's coming useful for you guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you later.